Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. Okay, so today the prayer says, Lord, please cause my love to abound as I seek to know you more. I want a living and active relationship with you that is established in love. Please fill me with knowledge and discernment so I am able to love others to the best of my ability. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you guys in love. How everybody is doing? Somebody could be going to jail, okay, because I'm hearing um, a cop's car. Okay, somebody here could work um, in like the hospital, like a doctor, a nurse that you're connected to. Some of you guys could be going to school for that. Okay. So, hold on, let me turn down this TV a little bit. Oh, um, okay. So, let's see. Spirit guides, the web night, and test mass, and major prime light. Please protect us there from your negative energies. Please have to receive current concise messages for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius in my collective? Spirit guides, the web night. Princesses the masters. So we have the seven of cups here. Okay, you guys can be connected to uh, a Scorpio. You guys, if y'all see my hands red, y'all know I love hot chips. I love spicy food. Okay, so don't mind that. Yeah, but this person can have Scorpio in their chart. Okay, but I'm seeing here that you could be dealing with somebody here that was a, most definitely a player. Okay, this person had a lot of options when it came to love. This person could have treated you like super poorly. Okay, like an a option of theirs. Like, you know, they didn't care to lose you. This person could have been emotionally unavailable here. Okay, this person was most definitely in some type of illusion. And I'm also seeing here that somebody that you was connected to, they could have had like a lot of decisions, but they didn't treat you poorly. You know, it just like, they could have been like, distant like one minute they could have texted you and then you know next minute they like i feel like they was questioning themselves like is this the right person to be with because i'm seeing here that they could have chose the wrong person in the past so it's like they wasn't doing it out of negative intentions right some of them i'm seeing here could be doing that negative attention just use your intuition you're gonna know you're going to know period but i'm seeing here as well that of course you can have um, a lot of options when it comes to love okay you can have a lot of decisions some of you guys are just praying hoping the next person that you run into or if you're in a relationship now that you're just hoping that it goes good okay because you're tired you're sick and tired of dealing with people that's either trying to use you abuse you snakes like that cause Tornadoes in your life, rats. Okay, yeah, you're done with it. What else? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. You could be handed to a Virgo. Okay, yeah, see? You guys are just focusing on your business right now. If you have your own business, okay? You have a beautiful repetition when it comes to work because I'm sitting here that you don't play about your work, period. And Virgos, all the Virgos that I know, they don't pay, okay? They're about their, their ching -ching, chin okay? But I'm sitting here, you're super concentrated on that, concentrated on that. Okay, and some of you guys could have just started a new job, okay? You could be going to an interview, okay? But as long as you, I feel like you put in the effort, you're going to succeed, period, point blank, okay? Just keep positive thoughts, okay? Like, when you're going to a job interview, don't be like, oh, my God, like, you know, if they don't choose me, like, I'm just a, a lazy or a terrible person, like, I must have said something wrong. Don't think that way, okay? Don't think that way at all. There's so many jobs out here that you can get. Okay, it just that job wasn't meant for you. That job wasn't meant to be in your path. Okay, it would have been something that would have been wrong. You know, the universe was just protecting you if you really think about it. Okay, you would have liked it, the job. It would have been something that you, you know, that wasn't clicking to you about the job. So don't beat yourself up if you didn't get like um, the job or something like that. Okay, but if that was like something that you wanted to do, like a dream job, and you didn't get it, keep working hard. Like keep, you know keeping a positive mindset, keep going towards that. Like, don't give up. Do not give up, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, I'm seeing you guys are feeling very, like, stable. You're very grounded right now, okay? I'm not saying that you guys don't have work. Like, I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles here, like, you guys are most definitely wealthy, 
okay, you're financially stable, okay, you're able to take care of like people around you, you know, that's how stable you are. Okay, I'm also seeing you guys could be doing some charity work, okay, you're feeling very mature, okay, and we have the Four of Pentacles here. I'm also seeing you guys is very good at saving as well, okay, if you're not saving, don't be just splurging, okay, because you know that you're going to get it back or, you know, like save your money, okay. Don't be, you know, doing everything for everybody and you ain't got nothing left for yourself, okay? I'm also seeing here that there's somebody that's holding on to you, so... I'm also, yeah, it's like it's a lot of people that see that you you dress nice. So you see this Queen of Pentacles, it's like she looks good, okay? Her hair poofy, she got on her crown, she's feeling herself, okay? And I'm seeing here, it's a lot of people that surround you that likes you because of that. And it's like, be careful, okay? Because some people could not be having things going on that you have going on, and it's like they're trying to use you, okay? I'm also saying here, don't be having a fear of loss as well. Some of you guys can have a fear of loss and it's like you're being like super selfish or you're materialistic or something like that. Like don't get too over your head, basically. Okay, well to the point where you're just like, I'm saying here, some of you guys are, could be selfish because it's like you did a lot of things for other people and they didn't do nothing back in return to you and that created resentment and it's like you don't want to do nothing for nobody so you just focus on yourself. But like don't, don't do that, okay? Don't be that way. Okay, and we have the Nine of Wands here. You could be connected to a Capricorn, I'm seeing Sagittarius, um, and yeah, Scorpio again. So yeah, I'm seeing here that somebody here is holding on to you, but this person was most definitely a player, okay? You could have been the breadwinner in that connection. Well, I'm seeing that this person, like, they looked at you and it was like, okay, I want to work with this person, okay? But it's like they didn't want you to, like, be bigger than them or be more successful than them. Like, somebody here was literally a hater that you was dealing with, very jealous of you. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands here and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I'm seeing that this person that's holding on to you, okay, this person could be stubborn, okay? Or I'm seeing here, this person really never did nothing for you. I feel like you did a lot for this person. This person never did nothing to you. They just take, 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 take. And never gave, gave, gave. But this person, you found that this person cheated on you, okay? They could have had sex with somebody else. So they could have just did something where they hearted somebody picture. Whatever you consider as cheating, they did that. While y'all was in the connection, okay? And it's like, I'm also seeing here that they could have been connected to a baby mother here. For some of you guys, it's don't resonate with everybody, okay? And change the genders if you need to. But, yeah, this person that they could have been cheating on you with was very, like, you know, on it, basically. Like, they was very, like, dominant, okay, and aggressive towards this person. It's like they could have, like, lured this person in. And with the Ace of Swords here, you felt that some type of clarity and truth. I'm saying you could have talked to this other female and y'all y'all could have, like, exchanged words about what happened, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm seeing here that somebody that you know could have caught this person cheating on you and y'all could have, they could have called your phone and texted you and you got the evidence that you needed to, to cut this person off. We have the six of wands here. Yeah, this person got caught like while they was out somewhere at the club or something. They was doing something here in the public and somebody caught them that you knew. Yep. They caught them. I'm also seeing somebody could care about what everybody else thinks. They could like to be in the spotlight. Somebody here could be like very well known, very famous here. Okay. Clarify Nine of Pentacles coming out. I feel like this could be you, Aquarius. Okay. You're very, you could be single right now. Okay. Like I said, you're very um, wealthy right now. Okay. You planted your seeds well. You were enjoying the fruits of your labor. Okay. You're very elegant. You're very independent. You have a lot of wisdom. I feel like you so much stuff that happened to you is like you take that on as lessons. Okay, you don't allow that to make you bitter. I feel like you, you use that to your benefit. Okay. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Someone telling me to clarify this Queen of Wands. She just staring at me. Like, girl, what's to you? Queen of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Swords. They was with somebody here that was a karmic. Yep, a karmic here. Mm hmm They cheated on you with somebody here that was a karmic here that was, you know. Whatever this karmic told this person, it's like they they was on it, okay? Like this person was able to, you know, have actions here 
that make this person come in towards them. And whole time they was betraying this person. It's like I'm seeing somebody this Queen of Wands was like very sneaky. Like you this person you had to be very like cautious around this person. Give me another card for the, the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> yeah. Four of Cups. I'm seeing that this person could have known that they was dealing with somebody else, which could have been you. And it's like they was trying to call you to be hurt because this person hurted them or they didn't want this person to be happy. So it's like they're like, you're not going to be happy at all. I don't know if you think you're going to get in another relationship and be happy. And you came into this relationship with me and you caused me to have low self-esteem and feel bitter and all this. It's like this person. Yeah. Like it's like revenge in a way. Four of Cups here. Yeah. And that's why this person could have rejected you here because they went back to something here that was very toxic. Okay, somebody here was literally using their actions and their words to, you know, m manipulate this person, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Yeah, now this person is realizing that they went to back to a person that wasn't shit. Okay, and it's like, they feel like they had a missed opportunity with you, like you was a blessing in their life. Okay, they were dealing with somebody here that was very codependent on them. Could have had a sex addiction. Yeah, this person, this well, well the Knight of Wands is by the Queen of Wands. I'm seeing somebody had a sex addiction here. Like, this person just wants to have sex and, you know. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, whatever news you felt out here, it broke your heart with your swords. Mm -hmm. Give me another card for the Ace of Swords. Like, it caused you to be so devastated. It's like your, your heart went inside your stomach, literally. Yeah, and it's like your intuition was already letting you know this with the high priestess here, but I'm, I don't know if you ignored it or something like that because it's like you thought that this was your person, you want to have victory with this person, but you end up being single again, the Nine of Pentacles here. And now I'm seeing here that pushed you even harder to like go even harder, period. Okay, as you should. But as long as you was a good person out of the situation, that all that matters, right? And we have the Six of Cups here. Yeah, now this person, of course, they want to return back to you, okay? They want to return back to you. Five of Cups here. But I'm seeing here that, yeah, you're rejecting this person. You don't want nothing they have to say. You're good being single. You actually like being single. You like your freedom, okay? And this person is just sad, mourning you in despair. Yeah, because it's like now they want to be committed to you and not cheat, okay? Like... They want to be loyal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody here literally like beg and like this person can know where you live and they could be like outside your house, like calling your name, crying, or they could be sending you voice messages or calling you from unknown numbers. Like this person is literally hurt. Yeah, you walked the way eight of cups here. You walked away from this person. You was like, no, no, nah. no, sir. No, thank you. No, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, ten of swords here. Now this person, okay, they're feeling that pain that they made you feel. Yeah, the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this person could be um, struggling financially as well, and their life is chaotic. Look at this. Literally, like, these are going to be the cards for my thumbnail, because this is what this reading is about. Okay, literally. Ten of swords, yeah, now this person got what they did to you. You could be dealing with the Pisces or a Gemini here. A Leo, um, what else? <laughs> but yeah, now this person feels like a failure. They feel like they ruined something so beautifully here, okay? Mm -hmm. And they betrayed the wrong person here because they could have had a sex addiction or whoever, whatever they did with this other person. They allowed this person to have control over them, okay? And this person, this Queen of Wands, was very confident in knowing that she could get this person back. Like, this person was very gullible. We have the temperance here, okay? This person feels like you're going to come back to them or it's going to take patience here for you guys to get back with each other. But this person hopes that this is not the end with you, okay? Yeah, they hope it's not the end with you. Mm -hmm. And I'm also saying they were trying to bounce out of a situation here with somebody. Yeah, I feel like they, the person that they cheated on you with, it's like they already knew this person. They could have been married or anything, but they already knew this person for a long, could have been for like five years plus. Okay, but they knew this person already. Okay, and they were trying to bounce something out that wasn't going to turn out to be shit. Literally, the Ten of Swords here. Like, you know, it was over and done. Like, they thought that they was building on a solid foundation, but it, it wasn't. Clarify the Eight of Cups, Spirit Cards, a little light. 
princesses and masters. Yeah, now this person is thinking about leaving who whoever this feminine energy or masculine energy was, or they want to leave this person. Okay. King of Cups. Yeah, see, because they have a lot of emotions for you. Yeah, King of Cups. This person is, is in love with you. It's like they want to balance things out with you. They want to be in relationship with you with the higher friend here. Okay? King of Wands. Yeah. Yep. Give me another card for the Eight of Cups. Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like when this person lay down at night, even in the morning. I feel like they have dreams about you as well. It's like they think about you and they think about what happened and they just put their hand over their face or whatever they do. They probably smoke a cigarette. I don't know. Okay? But this person just be like, wow, like... I wish I couldn't erase that moment out of my head. Yeah. And this person came to you in that energy where they was a king of wands. You know, they were just in the spotlight. They could have been well known, a leader in the community. They appear very confident, very handsome, very sexy. But it's like, you know, I'm saying they're planning something here. They're trying to plan something here, but they're trying to rest and see how they can come in towards you. Yeah, they're trying to plan something. I really feel like they're, they're trying to come back better for you with King of Pentacles and the Emperor. It's like this person is trying to better themselves because it's like the emotion they have for you is out of this world. Like they realize like who they're in love with genuinely, you know? So let's see. Let me get you some messages from this person. Some truth messages. Spirit guides of the Light and Sister Masters. Give me some truth messages that this person wants to tell Aquarius. These cards are like so slippery. Jesus Christ. Removing negative energies from this deck. to be my wife or husband they don't just say that with the high friend it's like this person wants to be in a relationship with you they were trying to balance out a situation with somebody that wasn't really on your level like come on now we have no one can have you but me so this person is actually possessive they don't want you to be with nobody else okay they hope that you're still single okay your body knows me best yeah you didn't play no games when y'all was intimate, okay? And this person can't forget about that neither, okay? We have energetically holding on to you, never letting you go. And you can feel this person in your energy, like, you know, they're not giving you no breathing room. We have up all night thinking about you. I said that as well. This person could be thinking about you in the morning. When they land down, they're just thinking about you. Like, your energy, they can't forget Okay, we have here, I don't feel obligated to commit, not committal. Yeah, so this person had a problem with being in a committed relationship. Okay, we have physically chose them, emotionally choosing you. See? We have secretly in love, heartbroken. So this person is in love with you, but they're heartbroken here. See? Because the same thing, you know, it goes around, it goes around, it goes around. Period. That's how the, the world works. I pray we can work this out and come into physical union. Yeah, this person don't want things to be over with you guys. Can't get you out of my head. Yes, I'm in love. No rush. Yeah, so this person really wants to, like, do things the right way with you. Like, it's like they want to take their time. Okay? When y'all do get back together, or if y'all do get back together. Yeah, and it's like they also text me race. So, one minute they text something where they either, like, explain their or express no emotions and it's like they just erase it yeah see hidden emotions deeper forms that i'm showing like they they just gotta just hide it okay and this person i feel like they're so used to hiding their emotions it's like they attracted a lot of people that just wore off on them that wasn't healed mm -hmm. yeah see and somebody that they was dealing with gave them a fake offer here that was fake yeah see bad at love get it fucking somebody here just wanted to have sex with this person and they're they're realizing that okay so i hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity if it did don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye